All right, this lesson, we are working on the chromatic scale on your trumpet. And uh, the chromatic scale is kind of like the Rosetta Stone in that if you learn your chromatic scale, you'll be able to read anything put in front of you. You'll know all the notes, all the fingerings, and you won't have any, any, uh, any doubt in your mind. So I want you to practice your chromatic scale a few different ways. Remember, tone production is always the most important thing. And we've done so much work on making a great sound. We don't want that to go out the window just because we're playing um, quicker, faster moving notes. So the first thing I want you to do before you start playing your chromatic scale is I want you to start on the first note of a scale, low C, and just play it with a really good sound as a long bone like this. Now, how long should that long tone be? Take a full breath and hold it out for a full breath with a good sound. That's how long it should be. Once you're happy with your sound, then we're going to go to playing the scale. Now, the way your sound works is it starts with your tongue and then it is sustained with your air. So we're going to focus just on the tongue the first time through as we play this. And what I want you to do is play every single note as short, as staccato as possible, and as loud as possible. So it's going to be just your tongue spitting the notes out. If I took the trumpet away, it would sound like really short bursts of air, but a blast with the tongue. Sounds like this. Um, by the way, metronome at 60 when you do this. One. Two, three, four. And then come back down. As you practice this, now would be a good time to press pause on the video and practice it a few times on your own or rewind the video and uh, play it right along with me a few times. So the first one we did was short. The next one we're going to do, I want the notes to be medium length. You're still using your tongue. You're thinking ta, 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 but the notes have a little bit more length to them. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three. And bring it back down. So we did short, we did medium. The third thing we're gonna do, long and connected, but you're still tonguing it. So if you listen to what my air does when I do this, if I take the trumpet away, just do it with my tongue and my air, you don't ever hear the air stop. Take a listen. So you can hear my tongue pronouncing each note. You can hear the beginning of each note clearly with the tongue, but the air keeps going through. Here it goes. Play it with me. One, two, three. So we've done it three ways on the scale. We've done four things actually. We started out with a long tone to get a good sound. Then we played short, short staccato blasts. Next thing we did was we played medium length notes. Then we played long and connected notes. So far we've been tonguing all of our notes. The final thing we are going to do 
is exactly what we just did, chromatic scale up, chromatic scale down, but we're not going to tongue at all. So when you're not tongue, it's called slurred. We're going to slur all the way through the scale. This is where you really want to think about keeping your air going. If we took the mouthpiece or the mouthpiece out of the trumpet and we played this, you would hear that the air goes the whole way through. <laughs> And so on. Here it goes on the trumpet. Two, three. Coming down. So five things, long tone, staccato, medium, long, but still tongued, and then slur through the chromatic scale. Practice those five things this week. I don't care if you practice anything else. Practice those five things this week. Learn your Rosetta Stone for all the notes on the trumpet, um, and everything is going to get much more easy and simple for you. All right, thanks for your time, and happy practicing.